The majority of the paintings are like snapshots from my memory. Just that kind of freedom and relative arrogance you have growing up when you don't really have any fear. All you're bothered about is that local recognition for being the best DJ, the best MC. I just have really fond memories of thinking back. And this is just my personal story. No one knows me like Dawn from the Job Centre. First and foremost, it's a painting show. There's lots of polycell going on and polyfill that sort of give the look of decaying walls in houses, basically. Council houses or unkept houses. The rest of it is all what could be found in that house. Princess Diana calendars, posters from like raves, jungle raves, happy hardcore sort of things. And it's just, you know, the sort of people that comes in and out of the house. Domestic heroes on a small town scale, basically. Pigeons, the guy on the street, top of mine, uh, you know, he raised pigeons. I was always super into it, but never quite got my head around it. But I'd sound of pigeons every morning and feeding them and everything's another kind of fun memory. I did have a benefit supervisor called Dawn. I guess when you're sort of out in the, in the world on your own, in my case, trying to make it as an artist, absolutely skin on benefits, on housing benefit, but kind of trying to pull this career along on the side that's like failing. You, when you go in there and you say, I want to be, I'm, you know, I'm going to be an artist, you know, I want to do this, and she's trying to make you apply for a job in a fucking chicken factory or something, it's not really what you want to be hearing, and it can be very demoralising. Exhibiting in Hull. I just didn't ever think that anything like that would ever happen. I'm extremely proud. I'm going back, you know, with a really, really good body of work that says a lot about me and my relationship to the city, where I've been, where I am now, and hopefully where it's going to go after this.